everybody, this is Tekka, and in this video what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be bringing you an updated tutorial for the Group Manager plugin. Now, if you don't know what Group Manager is, it is a permission plugin that allows you to create groups and give certain groups permissions. You can also give different users the permissions and have multi-world support and different groups and things like that in different worlds. So getting right into it, we're going to want to download it. So to do that, you're going to want to go to the Group Manager wiki. You can read some information here, get some of uh, the basic idea, uh, how to install it, but I'm going to be showing you that, and some more nodes and commands and other information. So if you want a more in-depth view, you can just read the wiki there. But what we're going to want to do is install it. So you're going to want to go to the initial install and go to this link, the two jar files, which will bring you to the downloads page. Here you're going to want to download it right here, the download group manager. I'll begin the download. Once that's done, it'll give you this. You can just open that and extract the two jar files to your desktop. And once they're extracted to your desktop, you can open up your server folder, go into plugins, drag and drop the group, the essentials group bridge and essentials group manager into your plugins folder, run your server, and everything should start up just fine with minimal errors or preferably no errors. So, as you can see, Group Manager version blah 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 has been enabled, so everything seems to be working fine. So now we're going to stop the server, and I'm going to talk about some of the base config files and creating groups and some awesome things like that. So let's jump right into that. We're going to want to go into our plugins folder, go into Group Manager, and then go into our config YML. You can open that with the Notepad++. So, this is the base config file. As you can see, it's in group manager. It is config. Now here, you have the config settings. Now, first you have op override. So what this does is it makes it so if you're an operator, you override all the groups and permissions. So no matter what group you are, you will have all of the permissions. Now these two aren't that important. I recommend you keeping them as is. You can read the wiki if you want more details. Now this data which is the backup, so every once in a while it will create a backup. And when I say every once in a while, you can actually configure that. So I'm going to do that right here. Let's say I want to create a backup every 60 minutes. So it's going to create a backup of the worlds, the groups, and users every 60 minutes. And I can set how many hours to retain backups in that directory. So let's say I wanted to keep it every day. So I mean, it would keep the backups and it would automatically delete them after a day. So that I'm just going to change that to two, two days so I have longer backups. Now logging, this just is basic information logging. It allows you to set how much information you would like to log. I recommend keeping it as info. If you're never going to use this, you can keep it as severe or warnings or just turn it completely off. Then we have mirrors. Now this is very important for if you're creating a multi-world server with different types of permissions. For me, I'm honestly just going to keep the one world and the inheritance of the nether and the end. But if you wanted to, it has some examples right here. If you were to have more worlds, you can set this as uh, world 2. So if I were to break that, pop it in right there, this would have world 2 have its own group. So then I could pop in world 3 and then have that inherit the users for that. So if I had world 2 and world 3, both of them would inherit the users. So that's kind of how that works. Once again, if you want more detail on that, you can view the wiki and get some really in-depth things in there. So I just recommend you keeping it as this. As you can see, it's world. So you go into world, you have groups and users. So for the world, it will inherit well, the worlds, the nether, and the end will inherit the groups and users for those worlds. So let's say you're in the nether, and a permission, well, the groups that are in the world will also be in the nether. So let's open that back up, go to here. So we can save that. And then we have our global groups. So this is the, uh, I think this is allowing you to create your own little, here I'll show you an example. Let's see, if we go into groups, you can see the inheritance for the default group is 
group manager default, bucket default, essentials default, and townie default. Now if I go into global groups you can see group manager default is notify self so that will inherit the group manager default the notify self. I could put more things in there but what I personally like to do is have this so you can actually see it so I'm gonna go like that and have that in there I'm gonna get rid of the that and I'm gonna get rid of that because I personally don't like that I'm actually gonna use this so you're gonna be able to see me build my groups and things so you can see exactly what to do now we have the group manager permissions moderator so if I go into groups and go down to moderator you can see that it's going to inherit the group manager moderator which is the list, man demote, man promote, so those are the allowing you to rank people man select, man you add, man delete, man who is, and group manager notify other so that will that permission is giving allowing well it's notifying the moderators that somebody has been promoted, demoted, etc. so then we have the admin so I'm just going to keep that as is then we have the bucket default, so broadcast users allows you to view the what plugins are on the server, which I'm going to keep that as is. Moderator, ban, 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 game mode, which I'm going to get rid of. Uh, kick, unban, unban, and player. So these are permissions you can give each individual group a permission like I did right here, notify self, and you can also give inheritance. So. Um, I'm going to get more into that after the global groups. If you don't know what I'm doing right here, this is the groups YML. That is in worlds, world, groups, so that's that. And the global groups is right here, so I'm just jumping back and forth between the two. So back in the global groups, we have bucket moderator, which I've already been over, uh, bucket admin, which is the um, broadcast admin, give, help, kill, all the things that an admin wants. And then we have the essentials default, which is given to the default group. So that is help, uh, rules of the day, spawn, jail, allow help, rules. And then we have the builder, which is given to the builder group. So I'm probably going to take some of this out, aka back on death. They don't want that. Um, actually, I'm going to give that to the moderator the worlds. Alright, and then admin is just admin, and then townie, I'm not going to have townie, so I can just get rid of all of the townie crap, and I'm going to get rid of all of the vanish stuff. So there we go. Now I'm going to go into my groups, so that is the groups, uh, global groups, you can give whatever you want, you can give permissions from other different plugins, and make it more organized and simpler that way. So, I'm going to go into my groups, so this is in the worlds, world, and groups right here, and I'm going to change some things. So, this default group is going to be called guest for now, and it was the, it's going to be the default, and it has the permissions I want, and I'm going to get rid of this townie because it no longer exists, and then I'm just going to get rid of the prefix. You can put prefix and suffixes and that will work good with the essentials chat extension to essentials in the essentials config. And for builder, I'm just going to put member member and this is going to inherit. It's not default anymore. It's guest, so I'm just going to change that to guest and get rid of this townie thing. Uh go to the moderator, have it inherit the member and I'm going to have it keep all of that, default true, I'm going to have it get rid of townie and vanish because they don't exist, get rid of the prefix, I'm going to actually go back up here and set build to true, that's very important, if somebody can't build it's probably because you don't, well if somebody comes into your server and they can't build, it's probably because you have that set to false right there, go it down to administrator, get rid of these two, get rid of the prefix, you can, like I said, set your own there, and I'm going to have this inherit moderator, which is correct, have that inherit member and owner. I'm just going to completely get rid of because I do not need it. Bam. So that is my current group. Now, as I get plugins, I'm going to want to add permissions and do things like that. Honestly, I'm probably going to end up
putting all these in manually into here because I don't use global groups and I like to be able to go through the groups, see all the permissions it has, and edit it that way. That is just my personal preference. So I can then save this, close it out, close it out. And then if you go into your users, you can see it has three by default. You're just going to want to set yourself as what you want. Brandon Hopkins. Put yourself as the group you want. And you can give different users extra permissions if you'd like to. Now I recommend you get rid of these. And then as people come in, well, when people come in and set the default, they will not have their own thing. But as soon as you promote them with either the command, you can promote them with the man promote command. With, so it's forward slash man promote player name and the group name. As soon as you promote them, it will make them have their own little name right here with their group they're in, and then you can give them permissions after that. Or you can just manually add people. So if I wanted to manually add, let's say, Notch, Notch, and I wanted him to be a guest, and I wanted to give him extra permissions, I could do that through there. So. That is honestly about all there is to it. You can go through, you can add mem well you can add different members. I mean different groups, so I could just copy that, paste it in and add this as let's say I wanted to make a donor rank and I wanted it to inherit the member. So I'd put member, get rid of this, and then I would have the moderator inherit the donor rank and then I could give the donor special permissions and I'd get rid of the prefixes I keep forgetting to do that I would give the donor special permissions like let's say I wanted the donors to have access to essentials hat so I would, I would allow them to put a hat on so that would be the donor perk for that so now if I run the server hopefully there's going to be zero errors do, 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 do. and there are no errors so groups work just fine and everything is good to go so that concludes this group manager tutorial I'm sorry it was so long um, once again if you go to the wiki so I'm just going to search group manager and go to the first thing this is the group manager wiki here you can see in-depth information on the basic idea how to install it, which I've already showed you how to do, how permissions work, uh, some of the variables that you could do, chat plugins, which I recommend using Essentials Chat for this, uh, anti-grief, so that's the build true and build false, you can set migrations, and take a look at the commands. Also, if you want a more in-depth view of the config files, you can go to Group Manager Config. I'll have all these links in the description for you, so you can see the file system, uh, more in-depth information on the config file, take a look at the mirroring information, more information on the groups and users, and then the minimal stuff. So you can read through all that. So once again, well, yeah, once again, I hope you have a good day. Please comment, rate, and subscribe, and good.